Hi there! In this video, we are going to show you how to do some object-oriented programming in JavaScript. So, if you think if you are new to object-oriented programming, don't worry about it. Object-oriented programming is just mimicking the real-world objects into your program. So, if you have some real-world problems that someone as uh, some of some, some some shops need a the software to solve their problems, you can just mimic mimic their uh, problems uh, as an object and just solve their problems. That's it. This is this is what is object oriented programming. Let's do some a pro let's solve some real world problem using object oriented programming, and we will do will do this using JavaScript. Just let's open Visual Code for this. And it's a free tool that you can get from Microsoft. And uh, and for that we will take an example, like assuming that we have a person, assuming a problem we have. So let's open a new file and uh, start by. Uh, assuming a problem of an uh, order booking so you have a pizza store and you got an order so how much information you would like to store in your pro in your in, in, in your program I think um, your order number this time just writing in the text what order ID order name order date type of pizza and uh, delivery location and 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 last the price so and the customer name um, some details the details of an object is done for that is about order so we can have another object and I will do it very soon let's first read an object for this order because in object oriented programming we interact one object with other object other object that's this is how you do some real world programming so we have uh, about uh, data for about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fields. So, uh, how are we gonna create these fields? So, in programming, we call these properties. So, we, as we have a, uh, as we have, as we get the uh, object for order, then we can put the put this. Uh, properties inside the object. So how we can uh, write an object? We just write uh, first write the object name. For example, I write here Tim Pizza order dot. So this is our order name. This is the object name, and now we write um, that the Oh, first you write the function name function so it, it looks a bit weird because I'm writing an object um, but I have to write the function because and then you pass the parameters what we what will you do when you open the order what well, we will put the information initially um order name order date and uh, type of pizza yes you what the client require you give it to him and deliver location you will have you deliver location and uh, i think the price and the price as well and the customer name sorry customer um, I forgot to mention that you should have um, properties star small cap 
and then you can even you can have the capital case as you like after for the second word this is how we write camel case now you have the header done for your object and now you just have a uh, curly braces open and close curly braces and, and, and just do your uh, code statements so now you know you want to you want to, to take this order num name order date piece type of pizza delivery location and price and customer name data into the object how we can do this you will write it like this dot order name is equals to order name so what I'm doing is this I am assuming that this the order name is the part of the properties of this pizza order. So this part belongs to this object. However, this order name is actually I am passing to this order. This is or this object. So this is how I will go and interact with this object. So I am very careful about it. So what I do right, right here, order date. And for this one, I will write this dot type of pizza. We will write mm, type of pizza. And this dot delivery location is equals to delivery location. This dot price it equals to price and this dot customer name equals to customer name so now we have a basic block of our object with, with, with its properties done now time to use this data so for that you have to do some uh, you have to you have to do some operation block and for the, these option uh, to write these operation blocks you should have to uh, write a method a function that will do operations on the in this uh, data on this object so for that you have to write um, an, a, a, a function for this object so let's assume what what we what operation we will do for this object at first uh, we will do some creating an order ID oh I forget to put an order ID So I'm assuming that this order ID is something that is already done inside uh, the already uh, recording inside the program maybe at the top of the program order bar order ID is equals to one so now what I uh, what functions let's let's think of two functions we can write it here for example someone order someone some person comes into the Tim pizza shop and asks for a pizza so you write a function uh, give me the pizza so how are we gonna give me the pizza so we uh, if they give the pizza when we they will ask you the order we will ask you the type of pizza you need and uh, and delivery location and they give you a price that's it three things you needed and the date order name and, uh, and our ID will be will be done automatically so let's write a function for this so how are we gonna write a function in this in JavaScript for a specific object and for our case we are writing for Tim pizza order so for that we you have to just write the name of your object 
Tim Pizza to specifically write, an, uh, write a math a function for this object. You write the ob project uh, the function name and uh, your object name dot prototype. Prototype is just the key word you need to remember whenever you're writing a um, new method for an object. It's just a fixed word. So you whenever you write to from a function, you just have to type prototype dot com dot and uh, now it's time to write the function name. I will say give me the pizza. And we again a method should start with the small case, then uh, then it's up to you to put have a capital case on the second word. I'll give me pizza. That's it. So now this is uh, all the basic header for your function. Now you have to uh, write equal sign and then say function. And now if you are going to pass any kind of um, any kind of uh, uh, parameters to this object, this method, you will put it here. So for our case, we need to ask for from the client without type of pizza and deliver location. That's it. We do have a type of pizza and deliver location. And the price will be submitted to him and we also need a customer information. So this is how the things will be provided to him and we will write the price same for that. For some type of pizza we just write an array for that var type of pizza and for creating a new array we just write new array object and input inside well let's say type of pizza like category 1, category 2, category 3, if the pet is a category 1 or if we say this basic mix or let's say special, special one has a price more part of so basic is cheaper and uh, mix is moderate and special one is a bit expensive is a, so we will do the pricing for it depending on that so now we ask for the we already have the type of pizza information and the location and the customer pizza now let's start give uh, let, let's start assuming the pricing for that so this dot no no we don't need to write this because we already function we don't need to write a function this so we say the order id is equals to order id plus one so i think we need here zero so this is the order id i've given Price is twelve dollars, and else whatever the case, we will say it's expensive one. We'll say the price is fifteen. So now you have priced the our pizza. Now we have checking out the delivery location. What is the delivery location? We already passed on it, and then that's it. I think this this is what we will do the pizza, and, and this is how you do the pricing. And maybe you can write a uh, function, uh, a message like alert. Alert is a way to show the outputs of your message in browsers I will show you very soon alert and your pizza has been this 
has been sent to you. So I think I I have just created the basic building block of this program. Now if I'm gonna with having a method and an object. So now if you if I if I if you want to. So at first, first, if I try to open this code and try to run it out, you will see nothing happens. Mm, let's say I open this out. Double click on it. You see, nothing 